Someone said, religion is world's greatest scam. What is your response? It's entirely unnatural for humans to coexist relatively peacefully in societies as we do now and entirely ignorant to not recognize the role religion has played to instill morality and compassion into the modern human's mind regardless if he or she recognizes its source. Also they are ignorant of the various forms of governments and leaders who have have acted as quasi-gods to their people and others whilst the biggest scam is the only thing powerful enough to make these tyrants yield. The world would be infinitely worse without various forms of greater powers. I respect any path that guides people to being more patient, compassionate and less judgmental. So they can be kinder to themselves and others, and challenges them to maintain these qualities under ever more difficult duress. I maintain this respect for the original intent no matter how many charlatans infiltrate it, twist the system to suit their desires. That is not what it was ever meant for, even if every organization in the world uses it for these twisted purposes today. These guidelines are still helping many an individual on their way. Some are, Christianity is not. Call it what you will Jesus Christ existed, was executed for your sins and resurrected on the third day. Beautiful act of love from God the creator of the universe, if it's not the true religion ask yourself why is PPL believing in demons always attack Christianity only Christ church? Satan and his minion demon or human worshipper attack the Christianity only BC Satan knows it's true. He do not care for Buddhist or Islam BC they are not his problem. Christ church is, I honestly believe in God a higher power. Too many things have happened in my life for me to say there isn't more than we can perceive. That being said, Anytime I tried to go to a house of worship I found people more interested in their petty bullshit than practicing what they preached. I've met a single priest who exemplified the characteristics he was supposed to but the services were three hours of an ancient language no one speaks anymore and I just don't see that as a good use of time. Organized religion is just not for me. It's not a scam. It's an elaborate tool to control masses. It explains complex phenomenons in a simplistic untruthful manner which is easy to accept for simple people or ones that can't find a meaning in their lives. Also yes, it's a tax-free scam. It was used to mass murder people and gatekeep knowledge in the past. It was a cause of multiple genocides. Actually religion is the worst and most backward thing that simply ruins the world. Well, I guess that on a second thought it's a tax-free scam business as well. It's easier for a camel to go through the hole of a needle than a rich man to enter heaven. Sadly, my religion is represented by millionaire pastors who are entitled to dictate whatever their personal taste says is allowed or not within the eyes of the church. They trash abortions, other religions, and homosexuals, but you can bet that they are not allowed to be near schools. If you don't follow what I say, you will go to hell. If, according to you, Hell is not where you're at, that's a blessing to hear. Some are, Christianity is not. Call it what you will Jesus Christ existed, was executed for your sins and resurrected on the third day. Beautiful act of love from God the creator of the universe. If it's not the true religion ask yourself why is PPL believing in demons always attack Christianity only Christ church. Satan and his minion demon or human worshipper attack the Christianity only BC Satan knows it's true. He do not care for Buddhist or Islam BC they are not his problem. Christ Church is, a blind man holds the leg of an elephant and thinks the elephant is a tree. Another blind man holds the tail of the elephant and thinks the elephant is a rope. This goes on for four other blind men but I don't remember the body part or the order. I don't think religion is a scam, just an interpretation of the truth from a certain point of view. And religion has done more good than harm though yes, there has been harm, no denying that. We shouldn't let a few bad apples ruin our view of religion. The Bible actually foretells of men who would enrich themselves under the guise of speeding the word. It says to beware those wolves who hide in sheep's clothing, who try to lead the flock astray and into danger. It is the same problem with conservative Christians. They seem to think that the Bible excuses their xenophobia and racism. It doesn't, but they thrive on distorting the message of God to suit themselves, instead of changing themselves to fit better with God. Perceptions of religion vary widely with some viewing it as a source of profound meaning, moral guidance, and community, while others criticize it as a potential tool for manipulation. Like any complex human institution, the impact of religion depends on individual experiences and interpretations. It's essential to approach the topic with nuance, recognizing both its positive and negative aspects, and fostering respectful dialogue to understand diverse perspectives. Religion as a tool was massively useful to transition between hunter-gatherer bands to structured agricultural societies. Past that, 
it helped control the people giving them extra reason not to murder each other or steal shit while providing a simple, much more digestible way of tackling complex moral and philosophical problems. Now that agriculture and social structure are pretty well set in stone, I'm not sure it's such a useful tool. I agree completely. If the world was always secular, throughout history, countless lives would have been saved. Religion is supposed to make the world a better place, ironically the world would be a better place without it. If we simply focus our attention and resources towards each other, living breathing fellow humans, instead of religious structures, wars, etc., we'd be so much better off. Yes, I agree, and did you knock on my door just to tell me that? The default human setting should be that murder and theft are wrong. You shouldn't need someone to provide you with a set of instructions on how to navigate through life without being an asshole. You should not kill or steal because you, as a human, know it's wrong, and not because you will be punished in the afterlife. Atheists are way too cringe to understand the benefits of having a common belief value tradition structure and just see it superficially. Um sky daddy zombie jeebus why bad happen if god good lol them out. No you spiz there's a lot more to it than that. Go consume more slop on your comic book convention pilgrimage as you decry capitalism and things that unite people on a spiritual level. There are very few things that can't be turned into a scam personal relationships, real estate, the stock market, secular charities. If we scrapped everything that human beings can use as a scam, we would have very little left. But for some reason the same folks that pay Elon dollars a month to have their tweets not read by anybody go after religion as a scam. Too funny. Even when my religion is in question. Name one religion that don't require anecdotal evidence, that don't require you to think different. Now even if we are just talking the baseline. How many of your ministers preach their own word, or even if they do, are they opening doors of predation, feeding off the profit they make, or doing things they shouldn't do? True especially those mega churches. I always wonder what poor people think when this mega pastors say everyone can be rich if they believe in God strong enough and buy their book. Why would you work two jobs and struggle and believe God wants it that way and you'll be rewarded when you die? Why give your money to make one man rich while you can barely eat? You can't accurately summarize a topic as broad and interconnected with human history as religion with a five-word quip and people who attempt to do so lack intellectual curiosity. You don't have to be religious yourself to acknowledge that there's tons of fascinating stuff to learn and nuance to explore in 5,000 years of religious history. Religious superstition, hatred, and xenophobia still permeate our society. Religious intolerance is the most pervasive and insidious form of cancel culture. The religious right has achieved an enormous propaganda victory by convincing many people that cancel culture is an invention of the left when they have been wielding it for centuries. Religion is like a father figure for a child who otherwise would have had only a mom. At some point, the kid grows up and no longer needs it. Because it provides structure. A younger person who believes in religion may make better choices and consider others before they are cognitively mature enough to make those decisions on their own. Religion is whatever a person chooses to believe. It can be a source of salvation. Community. Safety. A place to find peace. A place to seek embrace. And it can be a place of close-mindedness. Of cruelty. Of authoritarianism. Of abuse. Of oppression. Of harm. Of exploitation. Like all things human it is what we make of it. It could be taken as a good way of ensuring a certain framework of behavior and ethics, which would help in building a more unified society. Whether it has outlived its usefulness in this regard is another discussion altogether. And people do have a way of ruining things even if they were created with the best of intentions, invented solely to control people. The higher educated people way back when got together and said hey people are running amok, muttering, raping, banging their sisters and mothers, we need to instill fear and then an invisible man in the sky was invented and most walked the straight and narrow after that. Until now, let's see the 8 Register 1 Copeland 2 Austin 3 Roberts and 4 Stephen Furtick 5 Andy Stanley 6 Creflo Dollar 7 Rick of Warren 8 Jesse DePlantis I'll probably see them all in hell when I arrive so in my opinion yes it is and the reason I can't bring myself around to believe what religion preaches. Yes. Also, what sick fuck of a god, a holy creator would fantasize about making humans that bleed every month from their genitals. Sounds like a fucking sleazebag creep if you ask me. Probably has years and years of women bleeding archived in his computer hard drive somewhere, wanking off to it. What a perv. I would say that it's completely your choice if you do not believe it but it's something which has taught me patience, given me hope at many times in my life. 
There are so many I've faced a lot but choose not to give believing that there's someone who's looking out for them. So I choose to have faith. While I personally believe organized religions are an absolute scam and should never be given a penny of your own money, faith has saved many people from themselves. I know a lot of addicts that are now in recovery thanks to religion, that being said I don't think I could ever subscribe to any of it. I mean, yeah. I think it's foolish though to say it was invented as a scam though. It was invented for ancient people to try and understand a world they could not and did not understand. And that makes sense. But now we have the ability to understand how and why things work, so it's just a scam. Not really. I was even told this by an atheist. As much as there has been bad things caused by religion there's been a lot of good things caused by it as well. The overall legal system, the concept of right and wrong, forgiveness, etc. A lot of positive societal aspects stem from religion. Emo, modern religion is a means of power and segregation. At one point, it was used to help humanity's guidance with moral and healthy rules, to help rationalize the irrational. But then people began to recognize the potential for power and that was the end of meaningful religion. It was a great thing in those times to explain some natural things and keep people from bad stuff like killing or stealing. But no we have laws and science, so it can give only hope to people. And yes, a lot of churches and saints are using it like business to scam people, man shrugging.